humidity has been hanging around. When you have enough moisture in the air, eventually you're going to lead to some showers, and that's what we've seen today. Not the coverage of the last couple of days, but still they have been there. Uh, we will see an increase in showers tomorrow and Friday both before we get a, a real nice stretch of weather coming in. So quick check on the Max Track Live Doppler here. Again, the showers have been a little sparse. We were watching a new one developing. Now this is going to be going up a uh, Lee's Town uh, just now passing Masterson Station. So it's going to be headed up out toward the uh, say the golf courses up that way. Looks like Georgetown. Now you're getting in out of shower. That's now just really developing in the last couple of minutes. I just said this two minutes ago, and so that's beginning to pop up there. Southern part of Scott County and the shower coming out of Jesmond County into the central part of Woodford County. Also in progress. Go ahead toward Clemensville there, Casey County. That's going to head it up eventually toward Marion and parts of Taylor County. So on the max track, yeah, we got more rain and storms around. Uh, as we are looking towards your weekend, it is going to be a big change coming in here. Less humid and the cool that's on the way as well. In the tropics, today you may have missed it. We had brunch with Bertha. Bertha was the second named tropical system, the second time we have put two named storms in before the official start of hurricane season. Last time we did it was 2012. Before they did go back to the 50s, uh, you are looking at what was just a pretty good wave that came across Florida, dumped a lot of rain. You see the clock advancing. Bertha went out over the Gulf Stream. That's warm water. That's what tropical systems love to feed on. 8.30 this morning became the named system. 9.30 this morning came ashore at Mount Pleasant, uh, South Carolina, a little bit to the north there of Charleston. By the time we got you to 2 o'clock this afternoon, uh, the storm was gone. So it lasted all of five and a half hours, but it was our second named storm of the season. And it was, a, it, we talk about sometimes how they'll name just about anything. This one was legit. It, it organized quickly. It had terrific banding to it. If it had more time, it would have turned into a much bigger storm. Luckily, it did not. It's producing heavy rain now across North Carolina, up into Virginia, eventually into West Virginia. But for us, what we've got going on is an upper level low that's been sitting out here. It's been cut off, but it's beginning to eject out, and it's setting up an upper level pattern that will be conducive to some some stronger storms around the area tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on that from 7 o'clock this evening. Here's our scattering of storms. The remnants of Bertha again passing to our east. Uh, you see the showers and storms around and even a few of them around tomorrow morning as well. So it won't be just an afternoon variety for us on your Thursday. Friday, now here comes the cold front. Southwest winds ahead of it. Northwest winds behind it. You see the thunderstorms blossoming out. And as we get you then to the afternoon, those will come on through. The northerly winds take over. And when that happens, we are going to see a dramatic change as that cutoff low gets absorbed by the jet stream and that opens the gates to that cooler air beginning to plunge southward. Temperatures right now, we are running in the middle upper 70s. Not a bad evening out there. For tonight, partly to mostly cloudy. It's still humid. Those thunderstorm chances will remain. We'll be in the mid 60s for tomorrow. Partly to mostly cloudy, rain and thunderstorms in the area. Can't rule out that stronger storm. Temperatures low 80s tomorrow, but upper 70s, rain and thunderstorms likely on Friday. Your weekend looks terrific, albeit really cool on Sunday. Meteorological summer begins on Monday with the 1st of June with temperatures in the 40s.